Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a Flipgrid for your students to use to submit instructional videos to you and to share with the class. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you haven't seen Flipgrid's news, it's now completely free with all features available to all users for free. So let's go ahead and sign in. So I've signed into my account. And let's create a new grid. And we'll just use a custom layout. We'll call this grid instructional videos. And the purpose of this one will be for students to share instructional videos with each other. Now we'll set our password. And down here we can turn on notifications, we can allow downloads, and all these other options that you can choose for yourself. You can choose a custom header if you like. I'm going to use this cat picture. Let's create the, the grid. Now let's create the topic within the grid. So let's say we want to do math tips. And one of the nice things about Flipgrid being completely free for everyone now is that you have more options for the length of video that can be added. It can be as long as five minutes or as short as 15 seconds and a whole bunch of options in between. Let's just do one minute for now. And our display date will be today. Now my prompt for students will be share a favorite math tip. And now we'll go in and make sure we have our responses moderated. We can choose to have emails turned on or off. And let's make this topic active right now. Another new new option for Flipgrid users who maybe didn't have a premium account before is the option to create a launch and freeze date. So if you wanted to have this open up, let's say three days down the road and then close five days down the road, you could do so. And of course, you still have all your options for adding additional prompts and topic resources. Let's go ahead and create the topic. Great, so now here is our link to the new topic. Let's take a look and see how a student can now submit their little instructional video for the grid. I'm going to open that in a new incognito window. Student puts in the grid password. And they'll see that responses are going to be moderated. There's a little prompt of share favorite math tip. Click the plus button, and now they can turn on the webcam like that. Now, there's also the option here to upload a video. So a student made an instructional video using another tool, they could upload that. You can see the supported formats there. Or you could do what I'm about to do, and you have a little whiteboard, and they just click the record button, They might say something like, uh, today's lesson is going to be counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight. What's the next number? Nine, ten. So that's their little lesson. Click next. They, might say they can watch like the playback of it. Today. Click next again. Take a little selfie. And then they can add little stickers, including putting the sticker over themselves if they so choose. Now, a student does need to put in a first and last name. And again, all these other fields are optional, and they can submit the video. Now, you'll see here, the student does not see 
their video submission immediately because it's moderated. So as the teacher, I need to refresh this screen. And now I can go in and I can see this video myself. I can give the student feedback if I'd like. like. Uh, today's lesson is going to be counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Now if the student has entered an email address, they can you can email them, or you can just say copy feedback link to your kids who don't have email addresses. Just give them that link and then their passcode, and they're able to see that feedback. And as you can see, the video feedback is private. Once I've reviewed it as the teacher, I'll change this from inactive to active. And now the student, when they refresh the screen, will be able to put in the password again and see that the video appears there. And you'll see that it's only first name and last initial, not full first and last name. So that's how you can have your students submit instructional videos in Flipgrid. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.